All right, we're here for the fourth round. Let's take a look at our opener, and we've got a a mini woozy doozy. I'm gonna keep this one. Sand seems great. I think I'm gonna lead off here with a breeding pool in case I draw an ink moth nexus. So I'm, there may be a situation where I want to play nexus next turn. We could have fetched a forest and taken less damage, and maybe gone turn two breeding pool tapped and playing a glistener elf. But the sand is pretty good. I'm hoping that we draw a mutagen of growth with this wild defiance just because of how powerful that is together. Okay, well. I could have just hit him for five. I didn't hate that because then he needed like two blockers or removal spells next turn to get through vines. We got young PZ incoming. Oh. All right, let's hope he does not have anything and we draw a land. Gut shot would have been horrible. All right, so this is three, five, nine. So we can go vines here. And just hit him for six. I guess we can hit him for nine and hold up vines. Now he has to have two blockers or a blocker plus removal spell. Even that does. blocker plus removal spell doesn't do it. He has to go land pyromancer and a removal spell. And that would kill us, but that would kill us anyway. All right, so yeah, we vines. He's at nine, goes to ten next turn. So. Tight. That's great. Let's put some in the, the hammer lock. Alright, Necropeat it is. Uh, it's pretty good against Pyromancer strategies. Wild Defiance is very good against... Uh, let's see, let me make sure it's it. Whenever a creature control can start an instant sorcery spell, the creature gets plus three, plus three. Okay, so I was wondering if this had the clause of only a single target or something like that. So uh, Wild Defiance does prevent Electrolyze on a couple of my guys, which is nice. Nice. I think we also need the Rancor. We may want these Spell Pierces. Maybe this Dismember? Maybe these Twisted Images? Everybody's got Staticaster these days. Maybe that's good. Twisted Image, Dismember for Staticaster. Alright, let's cut all these stupid Mites of Old Crozier. Maybe just cut these Groundswells too, man. You never know. Eugenics reasonable, especially if we're on the Wild Defiance plan. You just want some guys. Slip through space plus Wild Defiance. I think we can maybe cut a land in this matchup. I think I'm going to cut a fetch land. Yeah, we'll cut one swept teeth. And we still got to cut two cards. Cut a G probe and a becomements. So yeah, this is a very weird strategy that I'm trying to implement here. Well, I'm not sure how it's going to work. Um, I feel like we're just going to have to get... Uh, I want to say Swifty. Uh, that's a... Uh, Rick and Morty reference, but... Uh, we're going to have to get a, a little tricky here to, to try to win, I think, since Pyromancer decks are, are generally tough to beat on the ground, and uh, they usually have a bunch of counters and removal. So... We'll... The likelihood of us killing them in one big shot is not super high. Slip through space is great. Oh, just right off the top, huh? Just right off the top, huh? Alright, let's get a... Oh no, this is bad. All right. So I guess I kind of want to play. If I play Blighted Agent, he's forced to bolt it. Um, man, this is not looking great. That is a good start. A good start, sir. All right. 
kind of just want to go ahead and burn this slip through space, but I might actually need it to, to get through Delver of Secrets with either Icar Claw or Nexus. Oh, if we get electrolyzed here, that would be horrible. I think I'm going to block. I think that's a fine block. I feel like he was just going to bolt it anyway. Might as well block. I guess now he gets to block Noble Hierarch. So, who cares? And he doesn't even make any tokens. Maybe he's going to play Staticaster. Rabble Master. Little Rabble Doodads. Alright, we're just going to burn this Twisted Image, I suppose. Look for something great. We want the vines real bad next turn. You can just do this exact same thing to him. Oh, we're about to get pounded. Wait, is this lethal? Three, six, seven, puts me at four. Land bolt, snap bolt. No. Okay, vines. That's not vines. There's no way he's not gonna kill me this turn. All right. Yeah, so he's, we know he has Bolt. No, oh, whatever, we're dead. Okay, maybe we do need all these pumpers just so if we ever get a one turn window, we just stone him. Just 100% dead. Turn one Delver Flip Reveal Bolt is infuriating. All right. Maybe I just want these ground swells, but not the, uh... I don't know, maybe we don't want slip through space, since we need to hold up blue a bunch for pierce. And we already have these two rancors. I think I do want the fetch, maybe over a breeding pool. Maybe not. Yeah, whatever. Sideboarding is really hard with this deck. Especially when your opponent's playing a deck that you have no idea what cards are in there. Just no idea. Alright, we're leading here with Breeding Pool, uh, Noble, so that if our creature does die, we can still cast uh, Blight Agent and have a Nexus in play on two. And if he doesn't kill our guy, then probably still go Nexus Blighted Agent. All right, Helm Burning Probes here is actually great for us because that means he's not making tokens off of Young Pyromancer. Probably also means that his hand is kind of bad if he's just burning some probes early, like he needs to find lands maybe. All right, well, you look at me, I look at you. What you got? Disrupting Shoal? Uh, we can actually go Pendlehaven uh, and Blighted Agent, and we can actually use Mutagenic Growth to protect from uh, Bolt. Alrighty. He did Mold of 5 this game, so his hand is not great. Oop, wrong one. Okay, well, we don't have a great hand here, but we can just start chipping him for three, assuming that uh, he doesn't do a whole lot. We don't even need to play a spell to chip him for three. So he does have Pierce, so we actually can't. Yeah, that's annoying. That was really good. I didn't really want to burn my Mutagenic there. All right, and... Even if he plays Rabble next turn, that's fine. 
can go like snap bolt if he draws a land. If he plays rabble, we actually just get to eat the token. If he goes for a snap bolt, we can mutagenic. Yeah, we can actually just Pendlehaven, Mutagenic Growth, and the Commandments. So, let's see what he does. All right. If he just in a turn snap gro or snap bolts, we can just use Mutagenic Growth. I probably should have Pendlehaven there to. Um. To, I guess, bait the Snapcaster Bolt. Yeah, so we gotta protect it. But we could have maybe forced his hand. We did technically miss a point there, so. I really hope he just plays Rabble Master, because then he just dies. Alright, so we know his hand is Reman, Spell Pierce, and Rabble Master, so I think he's actually just dead anyway. Because we can pay for Spell Pierce and become Mince plus Ingmoth is 8. And our guys fly. Tight. Why not? Do an extra point. We know the last two cards anyway. All right, cool. Well, that was the fourth match. Uh, I'll likely play one more since these have been going kind of fast one way or another. Um, yeah, so this matchup is a lot like Jeskai, except it generally has a little less removal. Um, like uh, the legacy versions of Delver, if they play Delver and flip it on turn two, and they have, you know, subsequent counter spells plus backup, you're you're going to lose, you know? I mean, I, I played, you know, the, the Teamer Delver deck a couple weeks ago in a tournament, and whenever I played a turn one Delver and flipped it, the game ended almost on the spot. So it's definitely a... Uh, a good card when when you have it but uh there are definitely some flaws to ducks like delver in general so anyway uh that was round four uh we'll be back with the last match in just a few